Have you ever imagined living inside a giant egg? That's a 24-year-old architect's choice after he graduated in Beijing. China Report shows you why. The two-meter-high house seen here is made from setbacks outside, bamboo splints inside, and wood chippings and grass seeds in between. The egg owner says the seeds will grow in the natural environment and is cold proof. He built the house just steps away from his office, where he works until midnight every day. Why did he make such an unusual choice? He can't afford Beijing's sky-high rental prices. He's not the only one feeling frustrated by the untouchable home prices and high living costs in the metropolitans like Beijing. More and more college graduates prefer the second-tier cities when they start their career. A recent survey shows 80% of the graduates in East China's Zhejiang province are going to seek jobs out of the country's first-tier cities. A respondent says he did think about finding a job in big cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou because the huge pressure of buying an apartment there scared him away. He says people can enjoy a very comfortable life in a second-tier city with a monthly salary of 4,000 yuan, or about 600 U.S. dollars. But in Shanghai, people can barely survive with a monthly earning of $750. Buying a house with that is only a dream. Another graduate from Nanjing University says he will try first-tier cities only if he can get a satisfying salary like $30,000 a year. Experts say Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou do have the advantages that other cities don't have. But the high housing prices and living costs make young people be barely able to afford their lives. China's real estate market has undergone a substantial upswing in the past two years. Statistics show the average home prices in a country rose more than 25 percent year-on-year in 2009, outpacing the annual income growth of urban residents by more than 15 percentage points.